Hello and welcome to No Sevens Dice Club. What if I was to show you a way, just like last week, how to play for a dollar and turn it into a wealth of money? Well, stick around. I have a really cool strategy I want to share with you guys. All right. So this week we are going to talk about just like what how we talked about last week was uh, I share with you guys on how to be successful using. Uh, using only just a dollar of our money. We came close to doubling our money in that session. I think we rolled, we have four sessions. We almost doubled our money. We started at 125, we ended at $223. So very successful uh, strategy. And we didn't even roll long. I think our average roll was four or, four or five turns and then we were seven and out. So this is great for a new beginner also. It wasn't like we had uh, uh, rolls into the teens or anything else where we're collecting a lot of money. I think we only rolled on average four or five times before we hit the seven. So <clears throat> this edition is just very similar to that one, except for it's a little bit different. I have a little bit more of a twist to it. I received a lot of emails about it. A lot of people said they had success with it. A lot of people said it was a different idea, something they never even thought of. Very low risk. A lot of people commented that it was very low risk. It was very, uh, very easy to understand. So I'm going to show you the different way. Instead of us doing, uh, doing just a field or just doing the C and the E, I want to show you guys how to do it uh, being successful uh, with, um, with, with it if we just keep on pressing up to 22 on the inside. So let's go ahead. Let's establish a point. Let's see what we can do. We're going to do the 66 on the inside for, for, uh, for one turn. And then we're going to reduce down to $22. And we're just going to press it until we hit the 7. So... Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and establish this point. Let's go ahead and get this started. So we're going to do $125 because that's what I always recommend bringing to the casino to start out with for your minimum bets is $125. I don't recommend going in there with anything less. I see people drop $20 on the craps table and I just look at them like, what are you going to do with $20? You know, you're, it's going to take you a very long time to be successful with $20 and nine times out of 10, they drop $20. And in two minutes, they're right back out, out off the craps table. So anyway, uh, $125 is where we're going to start with. We're going to do $5 for the pass line. We are going to do a dollar for the crap check. And so we're going to subtract $6. It's $119. Let's establish a point. So we're at the 6-4. So that's a 10. Right off the bat, we're hitting that 10. So nice. So let's go ahead and mark the 10 down here and people said they uh, they like the numbers down here they can actually see them a little bit better than way up at the top up here so i'm going to put them down here for now on so we're at the six four ten so we are going to do sixty six dollars so let me go ahead and set up this board real quick and we'll be right there all right i need a chip and All right, here we are. Let's. So we're at uh, 15 on the 5, 15 on the 9, 18 on the 6, and 18 on the 8. So let's go ahead and roll a point. Let's get this started. So let's get this started and move this over so that way I give myself some more room. And here we are. Let's go. 5, 3, 8. So there we go. Perfect. Right back on the 8. So. All right. So we've hit the eight. So that's going to pay us $21. So we're going to get paid $21 is, um, I did not even mean to do that. So minus $21 cause there's no reason to do that. The only thing we're going to subtract is, is a dollar. So right now we're at $118 because I'm not going to, we've won $21, but we're only, we're going to reduce this back down to $22. So we win $21. And then we're going to reduce a dollar. I mean, we won $21 and then we're going to throw the dealer another dollar. So this is going to be 22. So this is going to be the five, the six, the eight and the nine, and then the caps for the six and the eight. That's how I, I didn't show you guys in the first video, but this is how you do the 22 in, uh, inside. So we're going to bring this down and this down right here. And here we are. All right. So. And now the only thing we're going to do is we're going to press and there's two different ways you can do this. We're going to press it and, and, and just keep on collecting. 
but we're just going to keep on pressing numbers. We're just going to press it one unit each time and just see where we go from here. So we're at $118. We hit the eight. Let's roll another number. All right, so the five, four, nine, perfect. So we fit the nine. We're going to take this, and there's two different strategies on how you can do this. So, so I'm glad we hit the nine. So we're going to collect $7. So we're going to collect seven dollars all right now there's two different ways to do this like i mentioned in video a because we hit the 10 we can put the five dollars on the four and we can play the c and the e it's totally up to you on how um on how you want to play this but we're on this strategy i just want to keep on pressing i really don't want to hit um play the field or anything else i just want to keep on uh, pressing and see what i can do so let's hit the nine so we're going to collect two dollars so right away in our second hit we've already made a dollar profit because we had a dollar that we dropped down so this is our dollar that's coming back in our rack and this is the casino's dollar so right now everything on this board is all is all casino money because our dollar is back on our money and we have a dollar profit so we've already started making money so we're at plus two dollars so we're at 120. and if you want to cover all the numbers you can you can drop the four or you can play the field. It's totally up to you. But for this strategy, we're just going to keep pressing and see what happens. So the five, four, nine. So another nine. So we're going to get paid on this one. We are going to get paid. That is. So we're going to get paid twelve dollars. So we are going to get paid twelve dollars. Let's go ahead and collect the twelve dollars. So we got twelve dollars right here. So we're going to collect the twelve dollars. And we're going to raise it one more. We're going to drop it to right here. So we are going to collect six, seven, so seven dollars plus seven, because we're only moving these at, at one unit at a time. We can double it if we want to, but we're only going to press it for one time. And so we're right now we have fifteen dollars on the nine. So if it hits again, we're going to collect eighteen dollars. No, twenty-one dollars. I'm sorry, twenty-one dollars. <laughs> I'm thinking about the six and the eight. I'm sorry. So we're going to collect $21. It just hits again on the nine. So we're going to collect $7 right here. And right now we're at $127. All right. So the six, four, so that's the 10. So we went right back and hit our marker and I need a zero and a one. All right, so here we are. So that's the 10. And we're going to come off. That's going to slide here. And we're going to collect $5. So we're at $132 minus the dollar for the crap check. So we need a dollar for the crap check. And let's roll. So that's the hard eight. So the marker is going to come to the eight. We're going to leave this here. And we're at $131. The crap check is going to come down because that's a one time bet. And we are going to mark the eight. And there's a couple ways you guys can do this too. If you know you're getting up there in your throw count, you guys can go ahead and pull down this money. You know, if you start building it up and you have, you know, $18 on the six and the eight and uh, 15 on the five and nine, pull that money down, you know, and start the process all over again and throw another, you know, once you get past that first roll, you're in this game for a dollar. I mean, you want to talk about making money really quick. And you pull down that money that you've been building up on the board. All right, so that is the hard four again. So we're going to hit the eight. And we're going to come right back off. And we're going to hit the, uh, the eight again. So another hard eight. So that is... Uh, we're going to collect another $5 for the pass line. So we're at $136 minus the dollar for the crap check. And we're going to establish another point. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, thank you guys. And plus, uh, and what we're going to do for this one is we're going to move this up. So we got paid $7 for this. So we are going to collect. We're going to drop them. We're going to press it and we're going to collect a dollar. So we're going to bring this up to $12. We're going to collect a dollar. So plus a dollar. So we're really... This dollar can go for the crap check if you want to. So, all right, let's roll again. All right. I should really be playing the hard way eights right now. If we were to, to keep on um, 
if we were to parlay those eights right now, we would be almost at $1,000. So, all right, that's three hard eights in a row. That's pretty crazy. So, all right, so we've hit the eight again. And let's roll another number. All right, six, two, eight. There you go. <laughs> wow. Six, two, eight. I don't know if I have another eight. I normally do not hit this many eights. So I am going to have to get creative again. And you guys can send me another comment and laugh at me again and tell me that, that no sevens is getting creative once again. So I put two threes together and make it into an eight. There you go. Look at that. Who knew that you can come to a craps channel and still, you know, catch up on some artwork. So on creative ideas on how to do numbers. So we fit the marker again. So that's the eight and we're going to get paid. This is $12. So we're going to get paid $14. So plus, well, actually we're not going to get paid $14. Let's not jump ahead of ourselves. Plus $5 for the pass line is $141. So we are going to collect. So that's going to pay us. $14. Let's see if I can find some white chips up here. I'm running low. All right. So that's going to pay us $14 and we're going to press it up a unit. So we're, this is going to go to 18. So 18 and we're going to collect this. So we are going to go to $5, $6, $7, $8 is our profit. So $8 is our profit. I'm breaking it down really simple for you guys. So that way you guys can understand on how to do this. So we're going to collect $8. So we're at $149 minus a dollar for the crap check right here. So we're at $148. All right. So as you can see, we're still pressing and we still got a lot of money on this table. So if you want to, what I would do, I know I'm getting up there in my throw count. I would go ahead, establish another point and pull down this money. And then I'll be over, I'll be right at about $175 total in my, uh, in my rack for my money. All right, let's roll another number. Six, four, 10. And I don't think I have any, oh, I do have a one. Okay. I'm just out of eights. All right. So that's the 10. And we are, and some people might say no sevens. We are already made money. Let's just keep on rolling. I'm just telling you how I would do it. I would just pull down this money because you have 15 and 18 right here, plus a five and plus a six right here. So we're just going to keep rolling and see how we do. So that's the three, one, that's the four. We do not have any money on the four. So that's the only time it hurts us. It helps us for the ATS bets. Six, two, eight. Perfect. That's what you want. So we're going to get paid $21. So 21, $21. And we're gonna press this another, another one. So we're gonna bring this up. So we're gonna take this to $24. So $24 is where the eight is. And we're gonna collect three reds this time. So plus $15. So we're at $163. And right now, if we were to pull down this money, will be over $200. We doubled our money in the first session. We've already doubled our money. If we were to pull down this money, we would probably be around uh, easily $200. So the only thing we need is one more score hit, one more eight or one more nine. And man, we're, we, we, we've doubled our money. So let's go. All right, six, one, seven. So you knew it was coming. So that was the seven. And, uh, Let's just say for argument's sake, so I'm going to keep this in, I'm going to write this down. So we've hit the six one. So let me write this down. So we're at 163. Let's say we pull down our bets, like, like I said that we were going to do. So, uh, we're going to add plus 24 plus 15 plus six plus five equals $213. You see, this is what I was telling you that you need to be aware of when you're playing for, um, you gotta know, you, you gotta know your roles and you gotta know your, uh, where, where you're at with the, uh, with the dice sets. So we're at $163. We, if we were to pull down, we would have had $213 in Iraq. We would have almost doubled our money. So that's just how quickly you can double your money. And that was only on the first session. I mean, 
we're going to roll this again. I'm going to show you guys how to do this again. But I mean, this is something for you guys to keep in mind. I mean, $213 and your money is already back in your rack. You made it back in, in two turns. I mean, how simple is that, guys? I mean, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty brainless right here. It's really cool on, on how you can be successful at the craps table and it doesn't require a lot of money to do it. So let's go ahead and uh, break this down and let me set up the board one more time for you guys. All right. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to do just like just like before the 66 inside then we're going to regress down this is all right and here we go collect all these numbers and voila all right so we're at 163 dollars and we're going to subtract five dollars for the pass line and a dollar for the crap check and we're at 157 dollars so all right so we are going to establish a point it's our turn the dice went around the table and we're waiting and now we get to shoot all right here we are let's make some money four two six all right so that's going to go here the point's going to be established that's a six sixty six dollars on the inside let's get a number let's go five four nine so that's perfect that's what we want we want to hit that inside number right away. So, and now usually when I throw the dice on the craft table myself, I usually hit an inside number just like that. Right off the bat, I usually hit an inside number. Um, so we've hit the nine. So we're going to reduce down. We're going to subtract the dollar from our rack because this is going to pay us 20, uh, $21. We're going to drop a deal or a dollar. So this is going to go down to 22 inside. So 22, here we go. And then we're going to press this. All right, here we are. And our caps. And we had a six and an eye. So the only thing we're investing now is $1. Let's see if we can double our, our money. All right, three, three. So that's a hard six and that is right back on there. So we've hit the six. Yeah. Okay, I had, to throw, I had to make sure I was putting these correctly. It took me a second to realize what was going on. So we've hit the hard six, so this is going to come off. We are going to collect, right here, we're going to collect $7. So we're going to collect, uh, we're going to drop the dealer. We're going to tell him to press this. So he's going to take this. He's going to give us $7. And we're going to, we're going to, he's going to throw us a dollar, and we're going to tell him to press it to 12. Because we're going to press each one, each one, each time to one unit. And then we're also, so we're going to add um, $5 for the pass line. This dollar is going to go for the crap check. So we're at $161. Let's roll another number. All right, so a hard two. A hard two. Snake eyes, hard two. Oh my goodness, it's time for me to go to bed. All right, so we hit the two. That's the reason why we do the dollar crap check. I forgot to put it back up there, but that's the reason why we had the crap check. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna make two dollars off of that because five dollars is gonna go back for the pass line. So let's go ahead and mark the two, and let's roll another number. So the six two eight, Oop, six two eight. So right there. So we're gonna mark the eight, which is perfect. We like hitting the inside numbers, especially when we hit our point markers because that means we get to collect a little bit of money plus the pass line. So it's a little bit extra uh, Christmas gifts to us. All right, so the three, one, four, that does not help us. We do not have any money on the four or the 10, but it's okay. Helps us for the ATS bets. And the three. So the only thing we need right now is just the five to hit our, alto, our, our small bonus in the ATS bets. So let's see if we can hit that five. That's a five, that's a four five. So dice were trying to help us out, but they just gave us the wrong combinations. That's the nine, that's gonna pay us $7. And we are gonna collect, 
I'm running out of white chips here. There we go. All right, so that is going to pay us $7. We're going to tell him to press it one unit to take it to $10, and we're going to collect $2. So plus $2 is $165. So $165 is where we're at right now. Six, two, eight. So right back on there. So we hit the eight. The point marker is going to come off. And we hit the eight. And we're going to collect a dollar because we're going to tell him to press this to seven. I mean to, to 12. So he's going to press this to 12. And we're going to collect a dollar, but we're not even going to collect it. We're just going to, we're going to collect this dollar and we're just going to tell him to keep it for the crap check for the number. So we're going to go to the, to the C. And we're going to collect money for the five dollars on the pass line so we're at 170 dollars once again we can pull down our bets and we're over 200 dollars right now so this is just something to be aware of once we establish another point so we're at the six one so that's the seven see that's what i'm telling you about that's the seven so plus four dollars because we're going to keep our crap check up so we're going to collect four dollars so we're at 174. All right, so that's the two. So we're going to mark the two. So that's going to be plus two dollars because we're going to put the money back on the pass line. So we're at 176. All right, the 549. Perfect, another inside number. That's what we like. So we're going to hit the nine. And you can see our number count is way up there. So if it was me, I'll just say turn my bets off or pull me down. I have nothing else to prove. If I collect this money, I'm at $200. I'm not at the $213 like I was earlier, but I'm, a, I'm right at the, at the $200 mark. And then I can come back and play again. All right, so that's the 6-6. Six, six. So that's the 12. This will help us for the ATS bets. And the hard four. All right. Five, four, nine. So the point marker is going to come off. We're going to collect that. We're going to, $10 is going to pay us uh, $14. So we're going to collect $14. So, but we're not going to collect $14. So hold on a second before I jump my, uh, before I, I jump ahead of myself. Let's do this the, the proper way. So we're going to get paid $14. Okay. We're going to tell them to press in a, a unit. So this is going to go to $15. And we're going to collect five six seven eight nine dollars so plus nine dollars equals 185 plus the five dollars for the pass line equals 190 minus a dollar equals 189 dollars so this is going to go in a rack and we're going we're going to roll another we're going to roll another number six three nine so right back on that nine thank goodness i have a lot of sixes and nines on this on this on this thing so, all right, so we hit the nine. Let's roll another number. There we go, three, two, five. So, we hit the seven. If we didn't hit that seven, we would have hit um, our all tall small, I mean, our, our small bonus right there. So that's the five. So let me bring this in. I know I'm getting close to the edge of visibility on my camera. So that's the five. So we are gonna collect, uh, we're gonna collect $7. So that's going to pay us seven dollars we're going to bring we're going to get that to the dealer to tell them to press it one unit and we're going to collect two dollars so plus two dollars is 191 dollars all right and this is guys where i would pull down my money i mean look at it we're at 191 dollars we got if we were to pull down this money right now we, we've doubled our money we can walk out the casino with a hundred dollars extra in our pocket what more do you need to prove you don't have anything else to prove you, you've, you've made your money for today you made a hundred dollars what more can you ask for Six three nine. All right, the battle goes on. So we've hit the marker, and if we were hitting fire bets, if we have fire bets, that one that would probably be. I have to go back and video edit, but I believe that's the fourth or fifth fire bet. That's the fifth fire bet. You know, we won five hundred dollars on the fire bet. I believe it is, and I think we only need one more uh, fire bet uh, or one more point marker to to hit the sixth uh, marker. And that's a thousand dollars. 
if I if I remember correctly. So that's the nine. So I'm going to bring it down to here. So this is the nine because I'm running out of room. So that's the nine. See if I can slide this without getting the numbers in the way. So we are going to pay. We're going to do. Let's get everything set up. So this is 15 chips. So this is going to pay $21. So we are going to take this. We're going to tell him to press it. So this is $21. All right. We're going to tell him to press it unit. To take this to 20, which is where we want. And we're going to collect $16. So plus $16 equals $207. Seriously, guys, walk away from this, walk away from this table if you, I mean, but it's totally up to you. I mean, I have, I can hear you, I can hear people saying on, on, on the comments below saying, just keep on going. You know, you have already made your point. You know, you've already made, made back your dollar a long time ago. So we've hit the five. So we're going to press. Uh, so we, we have, we had the five. And we've already have money on that one too. So it's already pressed for, for money. So we're going to make money on that one. So we've made money on everything so far. So let's go ahead and um, get rolling. All right. So that's the three. And I believe because we hit that seven and now that we hit the three, uh, let's look back and review. So we hit the two, we hit the three, we hit the four, we hit the five. We didn't hit the six. That's the only thing missing so far is the six. So that's what we need to do is just hit the six. Six, two, eight. All right, there we go. So that's the eight. I think this is the longest time I've ever rolled on this table. So we hit the eight. So we have $12. 12 is gonna pay us $14. So we get paid $14. All right, $14, and then this goes into, um, so we're going to tell them to press it one more time. So this is going to go to $18, if I can get the right chip order. All right, $18, and we're going to collect, this is going to be $5, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> uh, too many numbers running through my head right now. Nine dollars. That's the reason why I count out loud for you to help me and to help you. All right, so we're at uh, two hundred and sixteen dollars. Once again, what, do I, what, what have I been saying? You pull down your money, and you, you're well over. And then you guys are you're already saying no seven. Just keep on rolling. The dice are hot. Let's go. All right, dice are hot. Let's go. Five five. So that's the ten. Doesn't hurt us. Doesn't help us. Helps us for the ATS bets. All right, so that's the three, two. It rolled off the camera, but I'm gonna flip it back around for you guys. So that's the three, two, and that's another point. So that would have been the, the thousand dollar fire bet right there. That would have been it. That would have, you would have just made a thousand dollars if you had a fire bet, because that, that would have been the six point marker right there. So, you definitely been running out the casino there because you've only put a dollar on this and now you just want a thousand dollars hitting the, hitting your six marker here your six point so we hit the five and i'm running low on numbers <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what else i'm going to do so we've we've hit the five so that pays us we have ten dollars right here so that's going to pay us fourteen dollars so we're going to collect fourteen dollars but we're going to um i'm running out of chips up top so we are going to do this. All right, so $14. Here we go. All right, so 14. And we are going to tell them to press it. And we're going to collect six, seven, eight, nine dollars Just like how we did it on the 9 So $9 is $225. What bam We doubled our money, and we still have money on the table. So this goes to show you that if we were to pull down right now, you probably have about $300. So just food for thought, plus $1,000 you won for the fire bet. So three, two, five. All right. And 
I just realized I didn't add the $5 for the pass line and I didn't subtract for the dollar crap. So we're at $229. All right. And then that's the two. Doesn't hurt us. Doesn't help us. All right. And the hard four. All right. Doesn't hurt us. Doesn't help us. And I only have four numbers left on the top of my board to put down here for you guys for blue numbers. That's it. I'm done. All right. Six, five, 11. Do I even have, I do have, thank God. These are my last two ones. All right. So that's the 11. All right. Let's look at this real quick. Cause I think we just hit the tall. So we've hit the, uh, there's the seven. So we've hit the nine. We fit the 10, we just hit the 11 and we hit the 12. So we just hit the tall. So there's another bonus for you. There's $30 right there that we've just hit. We just hit the only thing where we are is the six is the only thing that we need to do to hit the all. And then we hit the fire bet on top of it. So that's the five. We definitely hit the fire bet now for, for the big money because that's the five. All right. <laughs> Let me do the math here. So this is going to be, um, it's going to pay out $21. So 21. All right. So $21. All right, here we go. $21. And we're going to tell them to press a unit to 20 and we're going to collect $16. So plus 16 equals 245 plus the five for the pass line minus a dollar for the for the crap check is 249 dollars so that's going to go there for the crap check and that's going to go back in the rack so we're at 249 dollars and we got to mark the five and i do not have any more fives i have completely run out of numbers all right all right I have a green five. We'll use the green five. All right, there we go. The hard four. So there we go, the hard four. Do I have a four left? Yes, I do. All right, so the four. All right, so that's gonna go here. And let's keep on rolling. I mean, what are we on, the 40th roll or something like that, the hard 10? An upside down seven. So the 10. All right. If you guys are even with me, you guys probably even probably tuned off by now. I'm probably up to, to 40 minutes on my video. Um, let me check where I am on my video time. So that way, uh, cause I think you guys pretty much understand how this video is going. So let me see where I'm at with my video time. So we're at 33 minutes. I'm going to roll one more, a couple more times and then cut it off because we are getting up there. <laughs> was not expecting a monster roll. All right. So let's uh, establish another roll. All right. The five, four, nine. So this is, that's $20. So, all right. Hold on one second. I want to show you guys something really cool. Oh, I just lost everything. Okay, here we go. All right, so we just hit that. So that is going to be $28 is what it's going to pay. So the $28. So we're going to get paid $28. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. So we're going to drop this for the nine. And we're going to go here. And so we are going to get paid $23. So plus $23 equals $272. It's going to go back in a rack. As you can see, guys, I'm, I'm running out of video time. So even if you're still with me or not, we've, we've, we've rolled probably the best roll ever. Um, as you can see, you can keep on pressing this to, to success. Uh, and that's the reason why I was calling this the, the press to wealth edition. As you can see, we had a dollar. Uh, we didn't hit the seven yet. We've only hit one seven and all these numbers we kept on rolling. And uh, 
as you guys can see, you guys can make a lot of money with this. We're at $272. If we were to pull down right now, we'll be at almost $400. $400 profit. We started out at $125. We did really well. We rolled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 plus rolls. I'm not going to keep on rolling. I'm running out of video time. So this is what happens if you get on a hot streak. This is the best uh, roll of, of, I've ever done on YouTube. And uh, this is how you can keep on pressing. And uh, you can make uh, a lot of money. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for, uh, for watching this if you're still with me. And uh, stay tuned for next week. I'm going to share another edition of how to do the poor man's craps. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Good luck at the casinos. And thanks for uh, tuning in. Talk to you later. Bye.